My hero clicks are much better than yours. They're the rarest. They'll beat you. They're really expensive. My hero clicks are really cool. Calder, did you fall? Don't tell me you broke another chase. <laughs> I'm fine, Simeon. Just a few commons. <laughs> commons? Here? Calder, where did you find commons? Well, Ian down the street gave them to me. Said he'd be by for a match later. <laughs> that must be him. <laughs> hey! Calder, Simeon, how are you guys? Who's ready to click it up? <laughs> Calder said you gave him some commons, Ian. Where did you find those? Well, what do you mean? In boosters, just like everyone. <laughs> Nobody sells boosters here, Ian. Simeon, just please let me go. I just want to play casually. Casually? What's that? <laughs> I mean, hey Simeon, show me that Venom Magneto collection. That's cool because it's expensive. <laughs> of course, Ian. The only thing cooler than Venom Magneto is scalping them on eBay. These <laughs> picks are much better than yours. They're the rarest. Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. Today, as you can tell from the timeline, uh, we are definitely unboxing some Disney Plus. So it's finally been released. Uh, I did get to play in one pre-release. Managed to get one of my biggest wants, this super cool uh, Vision Prime. Just the Vision is what he's called. Uh, he's got the sword keyword and he's got the robot keyword, but man, he does some interesting stuff. Uh, the sculpt is pretty sweet. Really brings you back to that, almost that like first appearance kind of vision, where he was like kind of colorless. But anyhow, enough of that. You know what we're doing. We're chasing those blue packs, those god packs, and we're looking at all the interesting stuff along the way. I'm gonna start with this booster, and then I'll move on to these bricks. Okay, first brick. We've got Darcy Lewis. We've got post-apocalyptic Black Widow. Oh, we've already got some bubble wrap. We've got the Prime Power Broker, which means this is the Super Soldier Serum. Say that five times fast. We have Mobius M. Mobius. Wow. We have the Scarlet Witch. I really like the Power Broker. I think she does something that's interesting no one else does. Um, and I like the Super Soldier Serum. If you watched our gameplay footage when we unboxed Disney Plus that WizKids sent us, uh, that Super Soldier Serum worked pretty well in the last game. Um, didn't, didn't help me win, but it worked pretty well. All right, next pack. We've got one object, we've got a Prime. We've got the rare old Loki. He's just called Loki. Uh, he can be sidelined in case another Loki would be KO'd is fun. We've got, ooh, we've got the spooktacular episode Wanda. We've got Baron Zemo. We've got Jimmy Wu. And then we've got another Wanda Maximoff, another Scarlet Witch. Two witches, one pack, three capes. Uh, you could almost say Baron Zemo has a cape, but uh, it's more of like a trench coat thing. He's a great little taxi, especially in sealed. All right. We've got a Skinny Steve, probably the best 15 points in this set, point for point. Uh, he's pretty solid. We've got TVA Loki, we've got Killmonger, uh, we've got, oh yeah, Tyler Hayward, one of the few sword characters, and we got Party Thor. Party Thor is one that I'm going to be keeping several, probably like two or three. I think that he'll be fun for me in multiples, not fun for my opponent, but definitely fun for me. This pack has. Oh, that's a falcon. I can already tell from the wings. 
That is the Super Rare Falcon, which means that we also got the Red Wing Special Object. Uh, we showed this guy off in our other unboxing, but the detail work on those wings and that little red wing flying over them. I think this might be one of the first figures that has two flight effects for two separate figures on the same base. Maybe, uh, I guess there's like World's Finest or something like that. There's a couple, maybe. Uh, the red wing special object obviously makes the bystander, helps you create that bystander, which is a fun little addition. Any, any character in Hero Clips can now make a bystander because of this little object, and that's pretty neat. We also got T'Challa Star-Lord. We got Hunter B-15, uh, Darcy Lewis, and Peggy Carter. So, really solid seal back for that. I think that is our first super rare. So we have a prime and a super rare pulled so far. Next up, we've got Monica Rambeau, Photon, uh, Jimmy Wu, we have Ralph Bonner, Quicksilver, we have Strange Supreme, who will probably end some friendships, uh, and then we've got The Vision, so that's also, I mean, obviously this guy probably surprised me the most in Sealed, I wasn't really looking at his 200 point line, his 195 point line too much, but man, did he wreck me in Sealed a few times. Uh, that Quicksilver, that's another one I want in multiples, is ability to hand out action tokens without really doing much of all. Like, you just moves past people on a 50-50 shot, all of a sudden they have an action token now. It's pretty solid. All right. Only got five packs left. We're halfway there. Oh, upside down. We got Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. We've got... Batroch the Leaper. We have Watu the Watcher. That's you right now. You're the Watcher right now. Congratulations. We have Kid Loki, which is just... Yeah, that is Kid Loki. Okay. All the Lokis kind of just got named Loki, except him. Oh, and Sylvie is technically a Loki, but technically not. Uh, and then we've got Winter Soldier. Watu, obviously, is the one that, uh, at the beginning of the game gets to roll a d6 and then gets that many what if tokens so what if tokens pretty neat you can swap out characters so Gamora could swap out for a different Gamora Batroth the Leaper I don't think there's a ton of options there's that ADW one which is still really cool uh, points wise I don't know if they can swap he is 30 I think the ADW one is slightly more points so that is not an option unless you start with the ADW one. All right, here we have we have TVA Loki. We have Quicksilver, also known as Tommy. We have Agatha. We have another Monica Rambeau and another Daughter of Thanos, Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. It's two Spooktaculars in one pack. That's pretty solid. Uh, that's one of my favorite shared traits that WizKids has done in quite a while. And that uh, that Agatha, or Agnes, I guess, um, being able to make Senior Scratchy and then also mastermind a Senior Scratchy. I mean, she has an almost endless supply of uh, mastermind fodder. Ooh, there's a fun one. We got the zombie Captain America. His like shuffly leg, his shield. You can come equipped with a shield if you already have one. A shield, of course, comes with the Chase Captain America, Sam Cap, and the John Walker Captain America. So if you pull either of those figures, you can also play it with this guy. Uh, we got, is this Spooktacular Vision? It is. So my Spooktacular team is now almost finally filled out. I think we're just waiting on Billy to appear. Uh, we've got another Hunter B-15. We've got a regular Vision with his super glowy gold cape. And we've got Peggy Carter. We shouldn't have any super rares left, but we might have a chase left. Power Broker might have been our, our thing in the back. We have Bat Troll. We have, uh oh, I see bubbles. We have, I think, our the first uh, Ravona Renslayer that we've pulled in this brick. 
uh, T'Challa Star-Lord helmet on. Oh, another super rare. So that's one, two, three, and four with the Watcher Falcon Hydra Stomper here. Big old boy. And Agnes, that makes four super rares in this brick. And then, of course, we have a Baron Zemo. We did get a Skinny Steve, so in one brick, I can not only play the Hydra Stomper, but also kick out my Skinny Steve if need be. Pretty, pretty fun. All right, last pack. I'll try and be a little bit quicker. Got a whole other brick to go through. Hey, there he is. We have the whole Spooptacular family. So we've got Billy Maximoff, that can be played with uh, Wanda Maximoff, with Vision, with Agnes, and with Tommy. So oh, the whole gang's here, ready to go trick-or-treating. Um, we've got Baron Zemo mask on. We've got another Vision Spooptacularized. We've got Killmonger, and we've got Captain America. Good old Sam. All right, not too bad for our first brick. We've got four super rares, filled out our spooktacular squad. Uh, we got two equipments, one equipments. And we got one with the uh, super soldier serum, which seems to be kind of low on the uh, equipment end. I think most bricks are averaging three to four equipments in them. Uh, I think some people have pulled almost all of them in a single brick, which is pretty crazy. All right, brick one is complete. Now we shall move on to brick two. All right, brick two. We also haven't pulled the glowy Monica Rambo yet. All right, first booster, TVA Loki, Hunter B15. Uh, this is a T'Challa Star-Lord helmet on, ready for a spacewalk. Mobius M. Mobius. That's three TVA agents and one booster. And then we do get the Super Air Winter Soldier that I was just kind of musing about. So he'll go perfectly with that Super Air Falcon that we also pulled. Make a pretty solid little team out of those two. One Super Rare down out of this brick. On her B15. I'm gonna have to find a way to mod her or use her for some alternate stuff because I've got a lot of her now. Uh, we've got Sylvie. We've got Post-Apocalyptic Black Widow. Ugh, just kind of stuck in her plastic there. We have Wanda Maximoff, Spooktacular. And then we've got little bitty Skinny Steve. Feel bad for Skinny Steve. I'll have to check the IMDB credits to see if that's actually what they called him in the show because otherwise I think WizKids is taking shots at him. Poor little guy. All uh, right, booster three, you can feel it. It's got something, it does indeed have something. Uh, we've got the Vision. We've got Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. We have Backpro, the Leaper. We have, ooh, my girl, Miss Mary and Baron Zemo. Uh, definitely talked. No cards in it though. <laughs> All right, we've got TVA Loki, there's our glowy Monica Rambeau, Heist Nebula, that Marilyn Monroe kind of hair, uh, non-glowy Monica Rambeau, and then Mask On, T'Challa Star-Lord. So both Monicas have the shield team ability, both interesting in their own right. One, obviously, uh, the non-glowy one has double rollouts and a staff click, whereas this one can reduce damage from, I think, range attacks. It's just pretty solid. Um, Heist Nebula being another mission point character. I haven't tried that one out, but I really do like the new mission mechanic. Mission points as being a way that you can win games. It's just a fun addition to it. All right, we've got Gamora, Daughter of Thanos, Jimmy Woo. We've got, oh, that's the super rare Peggy Carter. You can tell because she's posing differently than the previous ones, which means that this is Captain Carter's shield. So if you can already use defend, you get a plus one, or adjacent friendlies get a plus one. And then if you can't use defend, this gives you defend. So pretty interesting object for five points. I don't think they've ever had equipable defend before. Um, I might be mistaken, but I think this is the first time. We also get a, another Tommy, and then we get the non-super rare Peggy, 
who I think can also start with the shield. She can for five points. Um, and she's already got defend top dial and then she gets it bottom dial. So yeah, she's kind of like a more economy piece to play with that. Um, I prefer the super rare because she's got some additional flavor and stuff, but both are pretty interesting. Both are good. We are on booster six, halfway through the brick, two super rares, no prime yet. We got two mission high characters. Ooh, there's John Walker, which means we've got Captain America's shield. There's another Wanda Maximoff with the spooktacular trait, Ravona Renslayer. Uh, this shield can be used with probably the most people in the set. So, Zombie Cap, um, obviously John Walker, Chase, uh, Captain America, the Sam Wilson. Um, yeah, I'm probably missing a few. Cloak of Levitation can probably start with a few more people because the Stranges and Spider-Mans get added to that. All right. Already got two really solid objects, two shields. We've got another Captain America here. We've got a uh, power, or not power broker, this one's just Sharon Carter. So that means we've got another super soldier serum. We got Baron Zemo, Strange Supreme, and Winter Soldier. So pretty solid pack. This is definitely a good sealed pack. Um, being able to equip this Strange with the super soldier serum is pretty interesting because then it's a 50-50 rollout. Obviously gives normal people willpower if they already have willpower. Gives them a plus one to their, uh, plus one to the result. Yeah, so it's a 50-50 roll once that happens. Which, I don't know, I don't know math well, but it's better. All right. This pack we've got. Quicksilver, Ralph Bonner, we've got Stinny Steve, we've got a T'Challa Star-Lord, no mask, we have Monica Rambeau, and we have Scarlet Witch, so I think this is the big point T'Challa, yeah, the one with running shot pulse wave for like four damage, 12 for four top dial for only 100 points, pretty solid little guy, uh, let's see, also can... Characters on your starting force with minions of Thanos, Ravagers, or Wakanda keyword gain the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword. So, very interesting. Not sure how I'll use him yet, but I've definitely thought of a few ways. It's mostly going to be some Wakanda, uh, Guardians kind of shenanigan stuff. We've got Vision. We've got Tyler Hayward. We've got Killmonger. Hey! We've got President Loki with the Tesseract. So now my Lokis can use their phasing teleport, and when they do, they get to use prob control until your next turn. And then we got Darcy Lewis. So we are at four objects for this brick. I don't think we've pulled a prime yet. I haven't pulled a chase yet. So this booster has Scarlet Witch. We've got T'Challa Star Lord. We've got Mobius. Got zombie Captain America, and then what could possibly be in the bubbles? Ooh, it's my my old nemesis. No, Calder's old nemesis. I played this guy, Ultron Infinity. So very interesting take on a character. Uh, obviously one of the best sculpts in the set. Uh, the Infinity Gems on his chest. One of the most interesting episodes is when he is first introduced. Obviously the big bad of what if, if you haven't watched it, you know, spoiler, obviously most of this set is a spoiler for that set or for that uh, series, but he's a very cool character. Uh, and I love that they brought back the chase dials. That just makes him like that much more interesting. All right, that was our case of Disney Plus and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. This second brick getting four objects plus Ultron Infinity, but wait, there's more because I have an addiction and I need two cases of Disney Plus. So the unboxing continues. All right, this is the guy we got. Now let's see what else we can get. Getting greedy. 
Brick three. Oh, starting off strong. We got, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got another Super Rare Falcon with Red Wing object. Not bad at all. I'm not going to complain. It's obviously probably the best sculpt in the game. It's really close. Especially, it's probably the best Super Rare sculpt. It's definitely, in my opinion, the best sculpt in this set. Um, man. Uh, I've already <laughs> looked at him, already showed you him in the first brick. I say uh-oh because sometimes duplicate bricks happen. And I'd hate to, I'd hate to show you watchers out there um, the same stuff twice. I will if I have to, though. I will absolutely force you through that. Second booster. Gator Loki. Oh. That was a little dramatic. I shouldn't have done that. but uh, Not a duplicate brick. Uh, Gator Loki also can be equipped with the Tesseract. A little phasing alligator. Um, man. Some of the most fun flavor text in the game. Obviously, we have that legacy Deadpool with some goofy stuff. Uh, I love when WizKids gets to have fun. Um, so he's got a special power that's... There should be an alligator tank. He's got a special speed power that's called that. He's got uh, a special attack power called Overly Sensitive. And then all the rest of his flavor text for his standard powers is Alligator Noises for blank. So Alligator Noises for eating the wrong neighbor's cat. Alligator Noises for laughing. Alligator Noises for praying and thinks we're going to die. Alligator, alligator Noises for saying a liar. And Alligator Noises for growling. Um, man... The alligator noises for saying liar really makes me wish that we could get a, a um, it's called Lion Cat from uh, a little small indie book out there. I mean, people people who know, know, but obviously, um, I'm a big fan of animals and Heroclix super pets are pretty cool. And alligator Loki, even though I don't, I don't think he's technically, I mean, he is an animal, but uh, he is just like Loki stuck in like some sort of shapeshift. I don't know. We didn't get his backstory really. He ate a cat and he's just uh, born an alligator maybe. Uh, we also got Lucha Libre Vision. We got Killmonger. We got TVA Loki. And we got Captain America. So two super rares. We got Batrock the Leaper. This card pack feels thick. Uh, we got Monica Rambeau. We got Billy Maximoff. We got his mother, Wanda Maximoff, and we got Skinny Steve. So, these billies have the cutest little pumpkin bag, and I really want to get like a, a dozen of them so I can mod for like a Halloween theme. Just give everybody a little trick-or-treater bag. Um, it is not hollow though, so you can't put anything in it. Uh, next up, we got... Choo, choo. Ooh, Gamora, daughter of Thanos. With that sweet, sweet double sword. We haven't gotten a Thanos with this sword. But it is, I mean, I don't know how useful a sword like that. A double bladed, like, whatever, kind of like a... Well, it's the same style that he uses in Endgame. Um, I don't know how applicable that would be to, like, a real fight. But it looks really cool. And that's all that matters. It looks really cool. Plus, Gamora is just good at fighting, so she could probably make anything work. Uh, we got her sister, Heist Nebula. We got Ravona Renslayer. We got Vision. And we got Peggy Carter. So, good booster there. All right. All right. Yeah. We didn't get a Thanos in this set, but he does appear in a few of the episodes. Obviously Disney Plus, um, they're gonna be making more shows. Uh, you know, they obviously will probably continue What If. I hope they continue What If. Um, season two will open us up to a whole new set of characters and things, or maybe revisit some of the old storylines. Uh, we got Zombie Cap. More zombies for the horde. We got Tommy. We got Jimmy Woo with his close-up magic, more Skinny Steves, and we got Wanda Maximoff the Scarlet Witch. Pretty sweet. How good was the timing on that? Uh, packing these sets with Scarlet Witch when that uh, 
Multiverse of Madness movie just came out. All the stranges and witches that you could want. Now we just need, uh, like, an America Chavez. Um, Wong. We need Wong. That seems pretty obvious. Is there a new Wong in here, Eclipse? No, there's not. Well, the people have spoken. Ooh, yes. That is the best the best super rare just because he comes with this super cool cloak i love like the i don't know it's like a, almost like a mannequin that the cloak hangs off of i never realized this before but it's almost like patchwork on the back when the light hits it in a certain way you can see like the different details this cloak comes with obviously the spider-man uh from like the zombie what if universe uh, but it can be played with any of the stranges it can be played with the Play at Home Kit Spider-Man, uh, the LE Strange that uh, is well, part of the LE prizing for this set. Um, it's pretty cool. It's an object I'm definitely going to hold on to. Uh, got another Monica Rambeau, another Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo, of course, being probably one of the best perplexes for the points in the game, plus PD team ability. Uh, we got Scarlet Witch, and we got Darcy Lewis, also one of the best support pieces uh, in this set. Uh, both have Perplex, but Darcy's also got Outwit and Stealth. Um, yeah, it's just pretty solid. And she's got Shield Team ability. She's only five points more for all that extra. Who wins in a fight between Darcy and Jimmy? My money's on Darcy, to be honest. A, Disney Plus should do a buddy cop show with just those two, though. Traveling around like X-Files style. Yeah, that would be fun. We've got Killmonger, we've got Sylvie, we've got Strange Supreme, one of the characters that can come with that group that can be played with that cloak, we got uh, good old Tommy, and we've got Winter Soldier. Fun pack. I really like Sylvie. I love mind control as a power. Um, second only to people who generate stuff, like bystanders. So her being able to mind control potentially twice in a turn is really solid. Maybe give her the cloak so that she can fly around, sidestep, and mind control, and have plasticity. Uh, maybe give her the Tesseract so that, because she can come with the Tesseract. We got another Miss Minutes, my gal. We got Kid Loki, another Tesseract person, I believe. We got Mobius M. Mobius, who lets people who can phase make a close attack. So, with that Tesseract, there's a whole lot of Mobius need necessary... Uh, let's see. Miss Minutes, we already saw what she did. Um, I've talked about it enough. Mission points are fun. She's fun. Kid Loki can start with the Tesseract for plus five points. He's got leadership shape change. Uh, choose a combat value other than damage. Until your next turn, Kid Loki has opposing characters within range and line of fire. Modify the chosen value minus one. With four range and stealth, it's pretty solid. He can get to where he needs to be. Gives him prob. Uh, he's got shape change, he's got leadership, he's only 30 points, yeesh, plus uh, willpower, so he can do it multiple times, plus blades, so I think that combos with uh, phasing teleport moves four squares or less after resolutions, they may make a close attack, so <laughs> you can play him with Mobius, play all the Lokis with Mobius. Uh, then we got Hunter B-15, Gamora, daughter of Thanos, obviously smaller sword than her counterpart, the chase that we pulled earlier. But, it's not the size of the sword. It's the close combat expert exploit that comes with it. Last two boosters of this brick. What could they possibly be? Well, it's party time. We got Party Thor. We got Black Widow, post-apocalyptic Black Widow. Uh, we got T'Challa Star-Lord. We got Hunter B-15, and we got Gamora. I think I might just make like a huge team with like 20 Gamoras before I give them away to like locals because it's pretty rough. She's like a 12 for 4 top dial with exploit. Party Thor can join in, just pulse wave, give action tokens, have, what is it, a 50-50 leadership, or uh, not leadership, 4 through 6 willpower roll. And then if you equip him with the super soldier serum, that's a 3 through 6 becomes kind of silly. Plus he's giving out action tokens. Uh-oh. Sharon Carter means super soldier serum that I was just mentioning. 
There we go, Party Thor. Chew on that a little. Uh, we got both Baron Zemos in one pack. We got Darcy Lewis, and we got Winter Soldier. In just this pack, we've got quite a little Captain in the Winter Soldier, Falcon in the Winter Soldier action. Um, and Darcy Lewis bringing in the Shield Team ability. That's a fun little, uh, that's a fun booster. I really like the Masked Baron Zemo with his Outwit Perplex. And then on a 5-6, he deals pen damage to someone next to the, one of his targets. Seems really good. And when I used it in Sealed, it was pretty good. All right. Got one brick left. Will we get it? You know what it is. Will you watch it? Well, you are the watcher. You're currently watching. You could close this tab. But please don't. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'll be bringing a ton of interesting content here in the next couple months. And, uh, yeah, if you're new to the game, just stay tuned. We'll be doing more in-depth stuff as soon as I finish opening this next brick. There's a little bit of damage en, en route to me. Um, so these boosters aren't going to stand up. But we're still going to start roughly from where we've been starting, right here. Booster one! Yeah. I need Matt Reed here to just open packs for me. His strong hands. Uh, we got Skinny Steve, we got Loki, we got T'Challa Star-Lord, we got Vision. That's another character that would be really fun and en and masse uh, in a huge group. Just play a ton of these Visions. Um, if you're playing Lokis, make sure you put this rare one on your sideline. Uh, sideline active once per game if another character named Loki is the last friendly character on your force while this Loki is on your sideline when that character would be KO'd you may instead replace it with this Loki on click one if it's the last friendly character on your force so if you're playing all the Lokis he's obviously unique so he can either be on main force or sideline but if you're playing all the Lokis uh, another friendly character named Loki so it doesn't work with kid Loki but all the rest of them, Gator, Lokis, etc. Um, when it's the last character, you can just pop him in on click one. Let's see. Last friendly character on your force. Uh, when that character would be KO'd, man, he just comes in as a 75 point um, addition to a character that was going to be KO'd. It's pretty nuts. Next booster. Uh, uh. Oh, that's why. This big tall boy was in the way. Uh, so we got The Watcher, we've got Tyler Hayward, we've got Loki, Batrock the Leaper, and Darcy Lewis. Uh, man. The Watcher works with so many characters in so many different ways that I think I'll play with him a couple of times just to see how he works. But outside of swapping a few characters here and there, uh, he is just a really cheap cosmic leadership 25 points cosmic leadership cosmic energy team ability Ooh, we got a another super rare peggy carter we got post-apocalyptic black widow jimmy woo of course her shield we got winter soldier and captain america very patriotic little pack here um for the most part black widow uh let's shouldn't say it like that uh This would be a really fun little sealed team. We've got three soldiers, I imagine. Uh, soldier, soldier, soldier. Black Widow might have it. She's probably got Spy for sure. Black Widow has... Uh, let's see. Shield, Future Martial Artist, Spy, and Avengers. Peggy's got Howling Commandos, which is a real fun keyword if you can get enough characters for it. All right, We've got my lady, Miss Minutes. We've got Wanda Maximoff, Spooktacularized, Darcy Lewis, and the common Captain Carter. Uh, also, Baron Zemo's in there. I should mention him, I guess. Don't want to leave him out too much. Turkish delights and all. All right, all right. There we go. We've got Sam Wilson. We've got Baron Zemo. Got Ralph Bonner, Pietro Maximoff, um, real name Ralph Bonner. We've got, ooh, I didn't realize we have Sock Hat Baron Zemo and not Sock Hat Baron Zemo. 
And then we've got Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. Holder of Single Blade. Very specific names in this set. Very specific names. When we first saw Gamora, Daughter of Thanos on the set list, when WizKids first released that, I was like, that's got to be a title character, right? But then there was like Skinny Steve, there was a post-apocalyptic Black Widow, and so it was like, obviously they're not all going to be title characters. It just turns out like they've got really specific with the names this set, which is cool. Uh, ooh, we got another Prime Power Broker, which means I think this is our third or fourth Super Soldier Serum. So we're going to be super soldiering it out the wazoo. Um, we got Ravona Renslayer, we got Killmonger, and we got Vision. So Power Broker's whole deal. And it's pretty unique as far as prime characters go, what she does. Uh, she can start the game with the Super Soldier Serum. Sharon Carter can't, but Power Broker can. Power, give an adjacent friendly character an injection token, so she's juicing people up. Uh, when Power Broker uses willpower and succeeds, you may also remove an action token from each character, each friendly character that has an injection token. Um, of course, she has a special defense power that gives her mastermind and willpower, meaning she's got a 50-50 with the Super Soldier Serum. Anyone she gave an injection to now shares that 50-50 with her. And it is, yeah, it's map wide. Ooh, we got Captain America John Walker. We got Photon, we got Captain America Shield, which also good to have in mass since multiple characters can use it. Batrock the Leaper, Vision, and Scarlet Witch. Alright. See how bad the damage is after this one. These slightly crushed boosters. Okay, we have. Oh, oh man, he got real moved. We got big ol' Hydra Stomper. We got a disjointed Photon phasing away from where she's at. We've got uh, Strange Supreme. We've got Batrock the Leaper. That's an easy enough fix with some super glue. Her feet just popped right out of the pegs. Uh, and we've got Loki, TVA Loki. So, big ol' Hydra Stomper guy. Crushed poor Monica. Rambo definitely stomped her. All right, my skinny Steve now has two power suits he can hop into. Uh, let's get get these. Oh. All right, final two. What could they possibly be, other than slightly damaged? Which we, I mean, maybe not slightly damaged on the inside, but definitely on the outside. Zombie Cap, Baron Zemo, Mobius, and Mobius. We've got T'Challa Star-Lord and Gamora, Daughter of Thanos. It's a really solid pack. We've got support, we've got two close attackers, a ranged attacker, a TK, a leadership. It's all there. Everything you can need. Uh, you can even equip that Captain America zombie with uh, his own shield. Alright. Final booster. For now, at least. No blue plastic. Ugh. We got Party Thor. We got Monica Rambo. We got Kid Loki. We got the Scarlet Witch. And we got Hunter B15. I think my Party Thor. My Party Thor army grows by the day. I'm gonna have to pop this guy out. Pop this lady out. Ugh. They were almost crushed in that collapsing booster. Party Thor is just really fun. I mean, at least for me. I don't know if he'll be fun for my opponent, but he's going to be fun for me. Uh, but there you have it. Disney Plus unboxing two cases. Uh, I think the only objects that we didn't get, obviously U.S. Agent Shield is a little bit harder to pull because it comes with a prime. Um, let's see, we got the cloak. Oh, the Dark Holds, obviously, two chase characters. We got multiple Red Wings. We got multiple Captain America shields. Uh, we got the Tesseract. Um, we got Peggy's shield twice. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of objects here. Almost have the full collection of shields. So feel good about that. But until next time, keep watching. I guess. Watu it up.
what who you doing? I don't know. That's it. That's it. That's everything. <laughs>